Using a system development method can help prevent system failures. Let's take a look at the system development lifecycle. Designing a successful information system requires integrating people, software, and hardware. To achieve this integration, designers often follow the systems development lifecycle known as the SDLC, also known as the waterfall model. It's a series of well-defined phases performed in sequence that serves as a framework for developing a system or a project. Here's the SDLC. It starts with planning, moves to requirements and analysis, then design, implementation, and finally maintenance. Systems planning today is about elevating all potential systems that need to be improved. Information system projects are often an extension of existing systems or involve replacing an old technology with a new one. For existing information systems, some phases might not be applicable, although the SDLC model can still be used. 